Hello everybody, good evening. It is story time this Monday evening and I will be reading out of our Deep Blue Bible Storybook. And tonight's um, story was picked by the Moss family and they picked page 312. And now 312 um, was fell at the end of the story before um, a new story began. So I'm gonna read you um, two stories tonight, but they kind of flow and go together. And they actually ended up picking, up one, picking out one of my favorite stories. So I'm excited to share it with you tonight. So on page 310 is where we're actually gonna start off at, but this is about Simeon and Anna. So it was a very special day for baby Jesus. Joseph and Mary were taking Jesus to the temple for the very first time. And I bet that a lot of you guys, if you ask your mommies and daddies, I bet that they can remember the very first time that they took you to church. And probably they can remember the time where you were baptized at the church or dedicated at the church. And what that means is that they promised that as you were growing up, that they would teach you to love Jesus and to have Jesus in your heart. So if you ever see a baby at church being baptized or dedicated by their parents and everything, that that's them promising in front of God and everybody at the church that they will raise you to have Jesus in your heart. So that's what Jesus' parents were doing today. They were taking him to the temple to be dedicated so that he would have God's love in his heart. So Jesus was going to be dedicated as, to God at the temple. Now Simeon watched as the young family came inside God's temple. Simeon was very old and loved God very much. He walked over to Mary and Joseph and asked if he could hold Jesus. This is all I have lived for, said Simeon. A long time ago, God promised me that I would live long enough to see the Messiah. And here he is. Simeon was so happy, he sang a song of praise and thanksgiving to God. What do you guys do when you're so happy that about things that has happened in your life to God? Do you say thank you, God, or do you sing a happy song? Might even do like a little bit of a happy dance and everything. And if you guys hear um, some noise in the background, I apologize, but I have a herd of elephants currently living in my house, and their names are Emery and Cooper. So if you hear a little extra noise tonight, that's them going stir crazy, so my apologies. So just then, an old woman approached the group and gathered around the baby Jesus, and her name was Anna. And Anna was an old prophetess, and she saw Jesus' face and declared that Jesus was the Messiah to all who could hear. She praised God for the Messiah, just like Simeon had. Now, this is also a very special story because back in Bible times, you didn't get to hear too much about children in the Bible. You heard a lot about the grown-ups and everything, but there's not a whole lot of stories about children. And we don't really have that many stories about Jesus when he was younger. So the fact that our next story, which starts on page 312, is one of my favorites from when I was younger. It's about Jesus when he was about 12 years old. So it might be around the age that you guys are, but it's a really special story because we don't get to know a whole lot about Jesus back when he was little. So we kind of get to have a little glimpse of what Jesus might have been like as a young boy. So when Jesus was growing up, his parents Mary and Joseph traveled to the city of Jerusalem every year to celebrate the holiday of Passover. Do you guys ever get to travel anywhere for the holidays for either Thanksgiving or Christmas and spend like maybe a week or so with family? That's kind of what Jesus and his parents were doing. They were traveling for a really big um, holiday celebration. So when Jesus was 12 years old, Mary and Joseph traveled to Jerusalem as usual. When the holiday was over, Mary and Joseph started traveling back home when they noticed that Jesus was not with them. Now keep in mind, back in time, there was a lot of people that traveled together, kind of like at holidays, maybe your mom and dad don't keep as close of an eye on you because you're going back and forth between different aunts and uncles and cousins. And they thought that Jesus was just playing with some of his friends. Maybe he was playing with some uncles or some cousins. So they weren't too worried when they didn't see him right away. But then they realized that they had lost them. And you can ask your parents that, I'm sure that there was a moment or two in their life where they didn't have eyes on you and they thought that they had lost you. And it's the most terrifying thing ever. So Mary and Joseph had lost Jesus. And they were so worried. Let's find out what happened. Do you guys think that they found Jesus? I bet they did. So Mary and Joseph looked for Jesus among their friends and family. But Mary and Joseph could not find their son. And after three days, they finally found Jesus. Mary and Joseph found him. Jesus was in the temple talking to the church leaders. Jesus understood so much about God 
that the church leaders were amazed. The grown-ups couldn't believe how much Jesus knew. He was even teaching them a few things. When Mary and Joseph found Jesus, Mary said to Jesus, Son, why have you done this to us? We have been worried about you. We have been looking for you. You think Mary might have even been a little bit mad at Jesus because she couldn't find him? I know I might be if I was looking for my child for three days. I'd be a little mad too, wondering where they were hiding. And Jesus didn't understand why his mother, what his mother was asking. Jesus asked Mary, didn't you know that I would be in the temple in the house of God my father? Mary and Joseph did not understand what Jesus meant, but Mary remembered everything Jesus had said, and she kept those memories in her heart. And Jesus returned to Nazareth where Mary and Joseph and Jesus obeyed them. Jesus grew up and became wise. God was pleased with Jesus, and so were the people. I wonder what Jesus was telling some of those church leaders as he was teaching them for three days. I don't know. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed our story time tonight, and thank you for joining us. And don't forget to come back here on Thursday when we will do, be doing a craft about this week's story. And a special thank you to the Moss family for picking out such a fun story for us to share tonight. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Monday. Bye!